how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you again for joining me. In this um, episode, I thought that I would address, there were a couple of comments going around recently about using different on the neckline and maybe even down to the decollete. I always have a problem pronouncing that, decollete but pr predominantly around the neckline area and uh, using that, how much to use. Um, everybody talks about the pea size amount for your face. Does that apply to your neck? Do you do an additional pea size uh, amount for your neck or do you do something different? So I'm going to go ahead and address all that. I'm going to go ahead and read the I have two comments here that I'd like to read to you guys so that you see where the comments are coming from and what the concerns are. And hopefully this will be in, in focus because like I said, I've got a new camera here. So I'm kind of like flying by the seat of my pants. I don't know quite um, how to maneuver all these, uh, the lights and the camera and the action and all this other stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. The first one, and I'm going to put on my little glasses here uh, so that I can read it, my little granny glasses. And the first one comes from Miss Lowe. And she says, Maria, I began to use different after finding your videos. I'm 52 years old, so I'm a little late too. I've been using Curology for a little over a month now. I really think using the different helped to prepare my skin for my Retin-A formula, but I continue to use different on my neck and chest every night with my Curology on my face. Your skin seems to be younger looking to me now compared to your older videos, so thank you for all your recommendations. Well, thank you so much, Miss Lowy, and uh, I do seem, uh, when I go back to my videos, I do see a difference. Now, I don't, you know, you can't see a difference day to day in the environment because you're so used to looking at your face, but but if you go ahead and start um, looking at your older pictures, pull up some old pictures of yours or, uh, of course, in my case, old videos or anything like that, you will start to see a significant difference, I think, in both using different and, of course, using any other retinol or retinoid products. Okay, so let me address the, the neck issue. This is what I do. I'm not a dermatologist, you know, uh, disclaimer on that. So this is a, just what I've practiced and what I have known to be successful. So I'm going to tell you, and here's my little, uh, my different uh, package here. What I do is I basically um, take a, a generous pea size amount. Now by generous, I'm going to actually demonstrate that. And I've got a napkin here to uh, take it off my finger. But uh, let me go ahead and put this up toward the camera. Hopefully you'll see. This is what I call a generous amount. Okay. It's a, it's a fat pea <laughs> is what I call it. Hopefully this will come in focus here. If not, then I'll show close up on the side, but that is the generous pea size that I use. And I go ahead and uh, distribute that between my fingers like so. And then on a cleansed face, prepped face, I do nothing else except cleanse it. Uh, I might tone it, but that's about it. I go ahead and I distribute this on my face. And of course I won't do that right now because I've got makeup on and everything, but I go ahead and pat it around my eyes, my cheeks, underneath the, you know, what I call my mustache area, my chin, and then the remaining, the remaining sediment of this goes on my neck and on my decollete. And I just bring it down and pat it in and go down, I'm looking at my, my monitor, I go down about to this level, okay? I don't go all the way down to here, obviously, not on my boobs or anything. Uh, I, I just go down on my neck and basically stop around here, around the collarbone. So if you guys, and let me wipe this off now, if you guys um, do it, uh, I won't suggest you go into your chest area. Some people have gone into their chest area because they uh, feel like, okay, they, um, you know, they need maybe a little help in there for uh, sun damage purposes. I have not tried that, so I can't address that, but if you 
want to go ahead and try it and give it a give it a try i wouldn't go very very heavy on it just again just patting it maybe on certain areas if you have some sun damage or uh, sunspots or anything like that and then just see how it goes i would always always wear sunscreen as soon as you start different as soon as you start retinol as soon as you start retinoids you must you must you must have sunscreen on okay you don't have to wear it uh, at uh, you know at night, but you do have to put it on first thing in the morning after you cleanse and before you put on any of your makeup or anything else. You should be uh, putting sunscreen on. Okay, so uh, that's one of the first things that I want to talk about. Now, getting to the second comment, let me go ahead and address uh, one more comment here. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I've got a scoot my monitor over here there we go um and it just says uh this is from philippe coelho and and i'll put all of that up here on the side so you guys can see the comments as well it just says uh can this smooth out lines in the neck um it does somewhat that is my personal uh personal experience right now i think my neckline has gotten better I think it has gotten smoother. I don't feel like it's a big turkey waddle here that, you know, I think I used to have. I think the uh, skin is a lot softer. It's a lot more supple. And I find uh, there's no uh, discoloration or anything like that. Now, whether it's going to take away any of these deep, 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 and I'll get closer to, you know, hopefully you guys can see it, uh, deep, deep lines or anything like that, it's not plastic surgery, all right? It's not going to take care of major, major drooping or, uh, you know, have a major lift. It will be, I think, a little bit more youthful. It will be more supple. I find that, you know, I don't have as much of that, that drop that I did maybe a couple of years ago. Again, I have to go back and look at my pictures and my videos to kind of see, you know, where um, my chin has. Now, I have lost some weight, not a lot, maybe about 10 to 15 pounds, but uh, I think it's helped with the drooping of it. I think that my neck would have been much more droopy because of the loss of weight had I not done anything to my neck. I do include and I do incorporate, you know, a night cream on my neck, uh, especially after I put different on or I put a retinoid on. I do put a night facial cream. I don't have a specific neck cream I think maybe I have one neck cream but I'm not I'm not religious about it I think it's in the back of my cabinet somewhere I don't think I've really used it that much I don't see a huge benefit I think that you can use any other just good facial heavy facial uh, night cream that you want to use on your neck after you apply different or after you apply any of your retinoids and I think it will work in combination and get things going so that that's basically uh, what I wanted to address because I do want to come on here and I do get a lot of really good comments now and people are genuinely interested in uh, some of this uh, procedures and some of this um, you know uh, different uh, chemicals and things that you can put on your face and uh, again I can only talk from my own experience please go ahead and talk with your dermatologist or your esthetician and or and get a feel for uh, if you should be using different if you should be using retin-a or retinol products build build your skin up to it build your uh, skin muscles as I want to say up into that realm start with maybe a retinol over-the-counter retinol product i know rock uh, i think they pronounce it as rock but it's r-o-c they're in a gold tube and they make various retinol types of products uh, whether it's night cream or day cream or um, just serums you might want to try that first uh, for your neck uh, and your face and then build up into a specific higher percentage of retinoids i know the ordinary has a number of retinoid products that are percentage wise i think there's like a two percent and a five percent so you can build up into that and then of course you can always get different over the counter and start on that 
So there's a number of ways to get into, um, you know, using a retinol or retinoid type of uh, product without um, it irritating or completely peeling off your neck or your face or having major irritation. So, uh, and again, I would caution you about doing it every day. I only do it like twice a week. I've still only been doing it twice a week. I have still not ventured into the every other night or um, or every night. I know there are some uh, YouTube uh, mature beauty uh, content creators here and other beauty community uh, gurus that do do uh, some form of retinol or retinate uh, retin a product every single night and uh, if they can do that and if their skin is fine that's good I'm not one of the ones that will be doing that for any foreseeable future I just I don't feel I need it and I do like to put different serums on on different nights and do different things so that's that so thank you so much again for uh, stopping by please give this video a big old fat thumbs up and i would really appreciate it if you share my video out to other uh ladies and gentlemen that would be interested in my content i really really do appreciate that uh i do want to make mention that i have opened up a amazon store it's an affiliate amazon i have been um what is it tapped and pre-approved to do that so um that is a blessing in my life and that is a very exciting thing and i am putting up all of uh the products that i will be uh, talking about plus products that I've already talked about I will be uh, loading it up on my uh, Amazon uh, store so that it is available to you guys very early and and easily and you can just go right up there and if you are interested in purchasing it that's great um, you know disclosure it is an affiliate program so I do get a tiny bit you know of a few pennies on the dollar uh, for a, every purchase that I you know put back into this very hard um, uh, you know video process and content creation and I've just gotten my camera I've gotten lights I've gotten software programs I've got to pay all my bills here for my subscription so it really really helps me back out and I really really appreciate all of your support out there and uh, just making this community very successful and very positive so I am I am so blessed to have you guys in my life you I, I can't t thank you enough really for everything that you have done and um, it's really a whole world out there it's not just one little lens on one little camera but there are so many people that I enjoy talking to so I'm really really happy to get to know all of you okay so with that said bye have a wonderful day have a wonderful weekend if that's what you're having we're having a very cold uh, snap here so we're kind of bundled up and staying indoors so I'll be putting uh, a couple of videos up tonight so um, that's it that's that's all I'm gonna be doing so I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video bye